Chuck, just talk us through what happened in the last three periods. You know what? I, I thought we got off to a slow start. We really didn't have our legs in the first period. Um, you know, Nottingham came in waves like they always do. Uh, Corey had them prepared, and they played fast. And uh, I thought we finally got our legs underneath us in the second period. Uh, I thought we had some chances. Um, you know, we didn't get the puck to drop for us, and you know, we fought some adversity, especially losing Robinson in the, the second or third shift of the game, and it changes the dynamics of things. But you know, all the credit to, to Corey and to Nottingham as they really um, came through at the end. In terms of losing Robinson, what happened? I separated his shoulder. Um, he tried to come back and play with it, but he just didn't have any strength. Um, so it was unfortunate. You know, you take a guy out as your leading scorer who also kills penalties, um, you know, and a lot of our offense runs through him. Uh, but a credit to the boys. Uh, a lot of guys stepped up, and we came in waves. Um, you know, Wickman was fantastic for them. Uh, made some big uh, turning point saves. And, um, you know, and I, I couldn't be more proud of the effort the boys gave in. I, you know, I was humbled to be part of that hockey game. That was a fantastic elite league hockey game by two teams that were fighting for every inch of ice. In terms of turning points in the game, was, was the one in your mind right now that, uh, that, that probably was the difference? Probably losing Robinson um, was a big turning point from our standpoint because it just changes our dynamic completely. You know, with the, we're, I mean, we only have 10 forwards to begin with. Um, so to do that, um, you know, and especially with the, the amount of offense that he creates for us, he's our leading scorer against Nottingham this year. Um, but you know what? Um, you know, they capitalized on a couple opportunities there, the one in the first. Um, I thought we were lucky to escape only down one nothing because we really didn't have our legs. We were second to a lot of pucks. Uh, but I thought we elevated our game the last 40 minutes, and um, it just fell short. Do you need a rest now? It's been a long, hard, tough season, hasn't it? Yeah, I start GB two-a-days on Wednesday. <laughs> uh, we got exit meetings tomorrow. Um, Fort Pete and I have been getting together um, to get things situated for that and uh, we meet Tuesday night and start getting prepared for Zagreb uh, with practice on Wednesday. I'm excited to be, to be part of the, the GB family and be part of the staff and looking forward to working with those guys. How do you part the disappointment of today to be able to clear the head and get everything ready for tomorrow? Uh, you know what, I don't know. I've never been through this before. I was 4-0 and till tonight. Um, so I, it, was weird. it was weird. I actually had to ask some people on the ice what happens now. Um, but you know what, it's, it's life of the game. Some, there's always a winner and loser. Yeah. That's why we compete. And uh, you know, it's one of those situations where I couldn't be more proud of the compete. It was, like I said, it was an unbelievable hockey game to be part of. Uh, you know, hats off again to Corey and Nottingham on a great year.